Hello, Rick Off here. Welcome to video number 35 of Rick's Pipe Dream Magnetic Motor Generator Project Series. I'm going to pick up right where I left off in video number 34 and show you how I made the wiring connections for the on-off and snap time switches that are necessary when utilizing the external control functions in X-Note stopwatch. As I had said earlier, the, um, in the help section of XNote stopwatch, they have a diagram which I showed you, showing the 9-pin uh, wiring. And um, the diagram, as you look at the diagram, what you're seeing there is exactly what you see now. You're seeing the end of the cable. So that's how you want to wire it up to, to match. Okay, now I have the uh, connector in a uh, clamp that I've laid on the floor just so I could show it to you this way. Uh, the yellow and blue is the clamp and uh, the, the rest is the uh, connector. And you also need a hood for the connector and you need a little bit of cable. Now I'll show you what I've done for the hood and for the cable. Alright, now here's the connector hood that I used for the cable end. And it's just a plastic covering that protects the wires that are connected to the cable end. And um, now this is Radio Shack part number 276-1539. Now the hood, of course, is uh, fastened on after you solder the wires to the cable end, to the correct terminals. Now the wire itself that I'm using is uh, it's an old piece of uh, telephone line cord that I had hanging around. I just cut the old uh, connectors off and stripped the wire back a little ways. A uh, telephone wire is uh, made up of four conductors, uh, so that's perfect for what I want to use this for. And uh, they carry very little current uh, in this uh, operation, uh, so the telephone line cable is uh, quite adequate for this use. And here's what I have at the other end of the cable, at the other end of the telephone line cord. I've connected it to two mini lever switches. Yes, and the switches are mounted on a uh, piece of aluminum stock, which I had handy. Uh, the stock, aluminum stock is one and a half inches wide and two inches long. And you can see there are two holes near the top. Uh, of the plate which I'll be using to mount this uh, aluminum plate to a, a fixture on the prototype. Uh, now you can see the uh, the levers for the switches. There's one at the top and another one at the bottom. The aluminum plate is sandwiched between the two switches, the mini lever switches. Now these uh, switches are actuated by the lever that I showed you, which is actually a, a kind of a spring. It works like a spring. And uh, in the open position now, um, it can be closed by pushing against this spring. And this in turn will push a button that actuates the switch. Very simple. And in operation, when this is uh, mounted to the prototype, uh, it will be brought in very close to the, uh, to the rotor, to the flywheel edge. Okay. And uh, then a roundhead screw, as it comes around on the edge of the rotor, is going to uh, press up against uh, either one or, or the other of the switches, the, the levers, and it's going to actuate the switch depending on uh, which lever is pressed by the screw. 
Now here's another view of the many switches on the plate and the plates uh, held in a clamp on the floor so that you get an end view of it this way. And you can see the uh, the part listed as a SPDT sub mini lever switch. That's single pole double throw sub mini lever switch. And that's uh, Radio Shack part number 275-0016. So these are all the parts that are needed. Very simple. These are the only parts needed to implement this uh, solution for timing. This and the XNote stopwatch software. They go hand in hand, work beautifully together, and uh, this is going to make testing of different magnet layouts extremely precise and reliable. And uh, it's going to make such a tremendous difference to me. Uh, before this, I've simply been eyeing things up, and uh, I, I'd make a guess as to if I made something better or worse. And now I will know precisely whether or not a change is going to enhance the operation or uh, be detrimental to it. Now I'm going to show you the uh, mechanism that I'm using to uh, mount this onto the prototype. Now after some careful measuring and drilling, I'm able to attach the aluminum plate with the lever switches to a PVC pipe union. Okay, now here's the attachment shown at the right rear upright of the Pipe Dream prototype. Now you can see the uh, PVC union here which is slipped onto a pipe. Uh, it's not cemented or bolted or anything. I, it's a tight fit and I just leave it that way so that I can still slide it uh, inwards or outwards to get the precise uh, dimension of gap here between the flywheel and the uh, levers of the lever switches. Okay, and it's uh, it's set now about one sixteenth of an inch gap right there. Now, let me explain something uh, to those who don't remember the uh, uh, adjustable stator arm. What we have down on the bottom here is uh, simply a collar that I can slide up or down and uh, this is a height locking adjustment collar and uh, the piece above this is, uh, is a T-fitting that I cut down at the top end and um, you can see back here I have thumb screws and uh, same thing on the adjustment collar I have uh, thumb screws uh, now the thumb screws keep the uh, height adjusting collar steady and lock it into position. Then I can uh, take the uh, uh, the T-fitting above that and I, I can swing it either way. If I loosen up the thumb screws back here, I can swing it uh, either way to move it away from the flywheel in case I want to do an adjustment. Now I'm going to have to take some measurements to determine exactly where I want to place the uh, activation screws. These will be roundhead brass screws. Uh, all other screws that I'm using in, in the prototype are stainless steel, uh, non-magnetic stainless steel. So I'll take some measurements to determine where I want to put the uh, timing screws. I see that we're just about out of time and I'm going to have to say goodbye now. I thank you very much for watching and I'm going to show you a new test layout of the rotor magnets in the next video.